I assume that there are boys and girls. Um, on oh, podcast. okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the cancel police like everybody else. No, I know. Today, no, I know. So. But I mean, and he also insulted us. So I mean, you know, not a real professor. <laughs> Anyways, Vengeance 2001 <laughs> was a fine time in professional wrestling. He barely wrestling. talked about the match that he assigned us. He talked more about Chris Jericho. Oh, no, he talked about the crowd and, and Stone Cold Wrestling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know. That's talking about the match. Mm-hmm. That was a feature of the match, if you will. That Chris Jericho was not in that match. He didn't talk about Jericho. He talked about yeah, Angle and Stone Cold. That confused me a little bit. We talked no, about... he, talked, he talked all about Jericho. Yes. But he's talking about why. Anyways, we're going to talk about the match. Yeah, exactly. If you'd like. And. Yeah, that was fine. You're right. Also, I watched the beginning of this pay per view. Oh, why'd you do that? It was a very weird beginning of the pay per view. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Sorry. It was I'm, I'm like the, the, the promo video because they always like, mm-hmm. seem to put a lot into it in this era. And uh, it was like a lot of the. It was like a lot of the old, they had weird music, and it was very, very peculiar. And, of course, they're getting over the idea that there has never been an undisputed champion. Oh, by the way, I don't think I bought this pay-per-view. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't either. I don't think I did. I think I was, I was. I don't know if I was just, you know, I, I, I was well into college and <laughs> and uh, 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 probably just, to, just, just burn out on the alliance not working. This and was probably taking place during my finals of my freshman mm, year. There you go. There you go. Um, I was 10. God <laughs> damn. Oh, geez. oh, way to just... Hold on, hold on. <laughs> badger, is this knife yours? Mm. Jesus. Mm. Mm. Here's a baby badger. Oh, boy. Baby badger with the burn. Oh, man. Baby yeah. badger burn. It was probably the exact same weight I am at. <laughs> Um, oh, there's some good. We'll have to do this off, off camera. But there's I my uh, mother sent me a bunch of baby badger photos. Yes, Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Can we do that for Patreon? Oh yeah, because I wouldn't be yeah. weird of. <laughs> Here's my exclusive set, and it's just <laughs> my little. I literally look like like. It's evidence that my mom might have had an affair with Chris Farley because my fo- my baby photos. It's just a small Chris Farley, like in oh, the boy. oh man, I can't wait now. Vengeance yeah, two thousand one. I I can't wait. I can't wait to mislead and get all the, the refund requests and be like, nope, <laughs> nope, no refunds. Says it Sorry, right on the money page. Is- that money's already spent. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, somebody's got to get a Spider-Man AAA uh, motorcycle jacket. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> whatever that was. Uh, anyways, no, this was a good match though, and it was yeah. it was definitely I enjoyed it. Peak Stone Cold, peak Angle. Um, and yeah, man, I miss crowds like that. Jeez, like you don't. I can't remember the last time like there was a crowd. You know, not not this year. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but really, sword? Do you miss crowds? I, uh, I mean, really? I no. Uh, well, I miss crowds. I miss not being afraid of crowds. And <laughs> I'm just, I'm just giving like, you. A hard yes, time, buddy. yes. Like, no, don't put me in a crowd now, because mm, um. Ugh. So, so yeah, the people uh, in April. crowds right now, by the way, are like from just quitting working at a mall. Yeah. Like yeah. I just want to put that out there. If you're out shopping at the mall right now, you are like you are literally a plague rat and I'm like just envisioning like the worst things happening to you on your drive home. <laughs> so we're just getting that out of the way. Like, and that's you are why. literally the fucking worst. And that's why she left. Um <laughs> I anyways, but no, no, this was you know, having that crowd, having that energy, I'm always like amazed by that energy that energy, especially when you go back to like 96, 97, 98 of these guys and WCW because it was so fire and it was so, you know, uh, uh, you know, WWE especially F of, uh, especially felt very rock concert to me when you look back at them, yeah. right? Like, um, you know, I feel like I feel like it was the kind of crowd that somebody might have gotten into a fist fight more often than you would expect for a wrestling show, right? Um, mm-hmm. Because it feels like the same crowd that went to God. What was the band at the time? I don't know. A Biohazard show. 
Um, but uh, <laughs> the hazard. That was that's the first okay. one. I could, I'm just trying to think a band that I saw in the '90s that wasn't REO Speedwagon. Um, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mike. I, I don't even know what to say. For that. <laughs> so you went from Ario Speedwagon to Biohazard. Yeah, they opened for the Insane Clown Posse when I went in. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I should have gone Matchbox Twenty. Those concerts are hardcore, Sork. I want to knock you around. Yes, yes. I will. Yes, no, I will. Believe it or not, believe it or not, a young Mad Mike. That was my first mosh pit. Whoa. Wait, there was a hold up. Fuck yes. this. Fuck this homework. Yeah. There was a <laughs> yes. There was you just, you just summed up my senior year in high school. There was a mosh pit at the Matchbox Twenty. There was a mosh pit at the Matchbox Twenty. It was my first concert. My mom let my parents let me go there alone. Yeah, I was in seventh grade because it's Matchbox Twenty. Is How bad Matchbox- could it be? Yeah, it was Matchbox 20 and Sugar Ray. <laughs> so they didn't think it would be no, that bad. Okay, here's the thing about Sugar Ray, though. Like, it, you listen to the album that I Want to Fly is on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a fucking mosh pit band. Yeah. And then yeah. they stopped. And but, then... but they're, they're the openers. So they're, they're, they were just, like, getting off the ground. Okay. But I was on the floor because it was, it was standing room only. Yeah. And then... As you do. And then Push started to get ready to play. And I see... A huge space opening up. I'm like, wait, what's going on? <laughs> this isn't. This isn't real. This was um, you. This was I, like. Swear to God, Badger. There's Badger, no way Badger, God. someone opened up this pit at Matchbox Twenty. Badger, like, hand to God, hand to God. There, there was a kid that fell on top of me, and me and a few others picked him back up and threw him, and he crowd surfed. Swear to God. Dude, Poughkeepsie is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, Matchbox... I don't know if I've ever been good enough. Ma- Matchbox 20 is also Tina's first concert at 15. Yes. Did yours have a mosh pit? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, if Tina's has a mosh pit, that's corroboration. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, anyway. I... Jeez. Um... <laughs> Do we have anything to say about this assignment? It was it was awesome versus it was a good match. Angle. It, it, was, it was a great, good match. It was, it was fantastic. Fine. Yes. It was it was the third it was the third most important match on the show. Because the, the most important was the unification. Yes. Yeah, I mean it was fine. It was, you know, it was it it was nice to see uh like I would have liked to see Angle get the win. Mm-hmm. You know, but you know, because they were still they were feeding into the dynamic that was gonna be Rock and Austin. But you know, as Chris Jericho will tell you, he's still the only man to ever beat Rock and Austin on the same night. I love that. I and I love that that's a thing, and I love that that's something that he's cared for like carried for like twenty years. Mm-hmm. You know, like that, that, that's what what's like when they're talking about how important this is, or like this, like uh, uh, Jr. I think says something for uh, at a moment where he says, "Whoever wins this is gonna be able to hold on to this forever." And it was like, mm-hmm. "Yes, he did." <laughs> yeah, but you know the funniest thing about this whole show? Hmm. Uh, the pay-per-view poster. Triple H isn't on this show, is he? Triple H is not even close to being on this show. Ah, huh. interesting. This is when oh. the pay-per-view oh, poster. Oh, so it's like, it's, like local, it's like local shows with women's wrestlers. Just slap <laughs> them on there, and people will come. I, yes, I'm going to equate uh, late 2001 Triple H to uh indie to women indie wrestlers on a poster yes yeah. it's exactly yeah. the same thing yeah, it happens more often but than i will than say w- circling back to what sorg said about like the crowd like that's such a pure crowd that those two could just have like a fucking i mean almost just a fist fight mm-hmm. and that crowd was like all like f- like into it from like the moment the moment Austin came out, like all the way to Regal, given given the the left field, I was like, oh, they got me, they got me. <laughs> I was a little annoyed though because I have a thing with like consistency. So like, I'm like, okay, if 
if Regal's going to do things like pull the chair out of Austin's hand, why doesn't he like get as upset and interject himself like when Earl Hebner doesn't see things? It's like, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. So he's like, oh, well, you know, Earl didn't see it, so I didn't see it. But I'm going to jump in there and stop him for this <laughs> one. Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah, the, the, the ref's decisions final thing always felt like some, kind of a cop out. I was like, wait a minute, you make the rules. It doesn't have like, to be. And you can literally reverse the decision or restart the match anytime you want. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's uh, uh it's it's but, it's 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 convenient storytelling most of the time. Yeah. So the the funny thing about this Triple H thing is he was supposed to be ready to return. Mm-hmm. Oh. This, this was from his quad injury. Oh it was a month after this he returned at Madison Square Garden. And won the 2002 Royal Rumble. Mm. He was supposed to be ready. That's why he was on the poster. Yeah, uh, you got to think he was probably going to be in that tournament. I would assume so. And I would assume he'd be taking Jericho's part. Me too. Me too. Okay, but uh, again, they can't be like, oh, put somebody else on the poster. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, so, but, here... but this was back in 2001. They didn't make those posters as easily as they do now yeah they had lead time with pay-per-views and everything so so i i bet there would have been a newer poster there but when they put it on the network they just happened to grab this one no no there's no newer poster you, there's no other thing there is vengeance. no other poster for i that guess pay-per-view. where there was wait, which Fantastic. one was i'm thinking there survivor might a, there might be a fan one which is the what which was the first one oh for the dvd that came out Oh yeah, of course they're going to change that. Yeah, either now there's one where where it's just it's just your standard pictures of Austin Angle, Rock, and Jericho, and it says one undisputed champion. Mm. That's on the DVD, but but on the actual poster, it's still just Triple H. Okay, okay. Which, but uh, one one or one last thing, and then we can move on from. Why, um, this Vengeance 2001 main event, I have an undisputed championship. That is signed by Chris Jericho, Kurt Angle, and Steve Austin, and I just need to get the Rock signature on it. Can you even get the Rock signature anywhere? Like, where is he doing signings? Maybe at a Comic Con, you know, in like 2030, or at a <laughs> presidential rally by then. Who the fuck knows? No, mm. we're not. We're not doing any more. We're done with this. We're, first of all. Which is burning down the government. That's that's <laughs> what I hope the next this the is next election is. Products. Okay. The next election is just Molotov cocktail versus <laughs> versus overturned cop car. That's <laughs> that's the candidates. I know who wins that fight. Um it depends on your age. So I'm trying to bring this back around. Do you, do you, sorry, the, the image in my head that I've been working on this whole time is apparently the cover of the Invasion poster. Yep. That's that, uh, that, is, that is the Vince and Shane one, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's Where, their faces. This is from July uh, at the sold out Gund Arena in Cleveland. Ooh. Yeah. And, and Sorg, we have not um, we have not welcomed a new guest to our show. What? There's a kitty. There's there's a kitty. There's a kitty. <laughs> what? The kitty needs to make some noise so we can see her. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah, we can see her. No, no, we we you can, but we can't. They can't. Oh, well, oh. Tina's here. What? Oh yeah, podcast. Oh, I earlier, forgot. yes, yes. <laughs> There's a cat. Yes. There's. For uh, wait, no. What's the um like the description? A uh, black cat with an asshole look in his eye. Um, looks like he's definitely going to knock down some Christmas decorations. <laughs> Currently making biscuits. Excellent. There you go. There's there's your imagery for you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Currently being held like a baby of some sort. Aww. So, All right. Well, that was our assignment. A very good match. Definitely recommended. Um, for all the bad storylines, there are a lot of good matches around here. Good matchups. A lot of first times. Sure, so. That's wrestling in 2020. Bad storylines, good matches. You mean it's never changed? Nope. Hmm. How about that? That's that's the more and, things change, the more things do and not change. That's the that's the that's the uh 
real lesson in all this, isn't it? All right, mm-hmm. we got one more video here from. Okay. Let's see what our homework is for. What, what you say? Skip the video. I'm, I'm gonna. Skip I'm video? gonna skip the homework because honestly, if, it's Christmas week. What if this is the one you like? You don't um, know. It's not being given by an actual professor. So. Well, well, they're busy. So 